hello children and dear parents hope you all are doing good and staying safe at home this is miss sandra and this week the subject that i would be teaching is literacy skills and the topics that i would be covering are introduction of four line concept and patterns day 1 introduction to the four line the terms that we would be using during the class are as follows line 1 line 2 line 3 line 4 parents kindly use the same terms like line 1 line 2 line 3 and line 4 while you teaching your child at home moving on to the patterns standing line children repeat standing line standing line is written from upwards and then we go down from up to down all right and in the four line you're going to write from line 1 to line 3 you're going to write from line 1 to line 3 and this is called a standing line in your literacy skills workbook on page 14 you have an activity trace and write standing line you need to trace like this and you need to trace the dots and write the standing line from up to down from up to down all right and then after finishing these two lines of tracing you need to join these two dots from up to down all right you need to write like this okay day 2 sleeping line children kindly repeat sleeping line a line from left to right that is vertical is called sleeping line you're going to write from left to right all right and on the four line you need to write on the line 2 you need to write on the line 2 sleeping line repeat sleeping line very good and you need to do this activity in your english notebook that is your four line book four line notebook parents kindly write sleeping line on the line 2 and draw lines like this in between so that the kids don't get confused and keep dots like this in the next two lines let them join the dots and then let them write by themselves in the rest of the lines given below parents kindly sit beside them but do not hold their hands day 3 slanting line repeat children slanting line from right to left see this is the slanting line from right to left you are going to go slanting from right to left it's called slanting line and on the four line you need to write from line 1 to line 3 from right to left slanting line all right slanting line dear parents kindly draw slanting lines in their english notebook as you did it for the sleeping line and keep dots for the rest two lines and then 
they have to write it by themselves without dots. This should be done in their English notebook. Again, there's a slanting line that will be from left to right. See, we are going to write the slanting line from left to right. We are going to come slanting. All right. We are going to go slanting from left to right. So on your four line, you need to write from line one to line three from left to right. Slanting line, left to right. Okay. Day four. And you have on page 15 in your literacy skill workbook, slanting line given. That is from left to right. You need to trace them. You need to trace them like this and you need to trace these two lines and join these dots from left to right. It's called slanting line. It goes slanting. It doesn't go straight. All right. This is called slanting line from left to right. All right. On page 15, you need to trace and write. The slanting line from left to right. On page 19, in your literacy skill workbook, you have trace and write. So you need to start from the beginning and you're not supposed to lift your hand. You're not supposed to take your hand off. You're, not, you're going to go up and down. You're going to go up and down. And only when you complete it, you're going to lift your hand. All right. The same thing, you need to go up. Come down, touch the dot on top, come down like this. You need to go up and down and then finish it and take your hand off. All right. Day 5. On page 20 in your literacy skill workbook, you have to complete each triangle without raising the point of your pencil off the page. And you need to color the triangles. You're supposed to draw the triangles and complete it with colors, okay? You need to color the triangles without taking your hand off the page. You're supposed to complete the triangles, okay? And in handwriting book, on page 4, you're supposed to write standing line you need to trace the dots and then join the dots in the next two lines and then you're going to draw slanting lines from left to right you're going to go from up to down okay slanting you're going to join the dots slanting you need to write neatly because it's your book you need to keep it neat and tidy okay and it's on page four in handwriting book Parents kindly do assist your child in completing the work given. Thank you. God bless you. Stay home. Stay safe.